Today we're looking at trigonometric proofs using mathematical induction and this question here is uh, from the IB Higher Level Maths AA May 2021 Paper 1. Thank you very much to them. Uh, so part A is to show this identity here uh, and then part B is using the result from part A uh, prove this by mathematical induction. Okay, so there's a couple of things uh, we want to just say about this question um, before we start. Um, clearly here we have n contained in z plus. All that means is that basically n is 1, 2, 3, etc, etc, i.e. it's a positive integer, that's all that means. Um, and basically apart from that, uh, let's go. So let's look at A first. So part A, we have to show arctan P and arctan Q is exactly the same, identical to arctan P plus Q over 1 minus PQ. Okay, so we'll start with uh, the well-known tan addition formula. Tan A plus B, oops, sorry, equals tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan b. Okay, that's our starting point. Now, what we're going to do is we will let p equal tan a and we'll let q equal tan b. And then what we're going to do uh, is we say, okay, well, therefore, a is equal to arctan p by definition and b is equal to arctan q again by definition. So what we do now is we arctan both sides of this. So obviously arctan of tan is just equal to a plus b. So a plus b is equal to arctan of all of this lot. And we can fill in, because we've said p is tan a and q is tan b, so we can fill that in. So that's p plus q over 1 minus PQ. So we're almost there now. All we've got to do now is just replace A and B by arctan P and arctan Q. And we got arctan P plus arctan Q equals arctan P plus Q over 1 minus PQ as required. That is part A. Okay, so that's the easier part of the question. Um, now we're going on to the more difficult part. We've got to use mathematical induction, and we've done a few of these uh, recently. Um, so what we're going to do is we use the same four steps. A, we're going to prove that it is correct for the base case, which in this case is n equals 1, because that is the lowest, n equals 1 is the lowest member of the positive integers. B, we are going to assume that it's true, true, for n equals k, C, we are then going to show that it's true for n equals k plus 1. And then D, we're going to write our conclusion to get the extra mark at the end. Because if we don't write the conclusion properly, then we don't get that extra mark. OK, right. So let's have a look at the base case first. So uh, here is the thing that we got to prove. The base case. OK, so we just basically let uh, n equal 1. And that gives us... Uh, the sum between 1 and r equals 1 of arc tan 1 over 2 r squared equals arc tan, well, 1 over 2 is arc tan a half, which basically equals, according to our formula here, arc tan n over n plus 1, well, when n is 1, that equals arc tan 1 over 1 plus 1, which is arc tan a half which clearly means that the formula is correct for n equals 1, our base case. OK, right, now let's have a look at B. So now what we need to do is we assume true for n equals k, i.e. we're assuming that it's true that the sum between r equals 1 and k of arctan 1 over 2r squared is equal to arctan k over k plus 1. Okay, that's what we're going to assume is true. C, we have to now show that it's true for n equals k plus 1, i.e. we must show that the sum between r equals 1 and k plus 1 of arctan 1 over 2r squared is equal to, sorry, I just run out of space, arctan replacing k by k plus 1 here k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus 1 which equals arctan of 
k plus 1 over k plus 2. Now, it's always, just stop here for a second, because it's always worth keeping in mind where we're actually trying to get to. This is what we're trying to get to, and later on we'll see that this actually helps us, knowing where we're trying to get to, helps us in deciding what we've got to do. Okay, so anyway, basically we know what we're trying to get now, so we know, uh, oh, okay, we'll just run out of space here. So we need to show that it's true for n equals k plus 1. Well, clearly the sum of anything between uh, r equals 1 and k plus 1 is equal to the sum between r and k plus the k plus 1th term. And that's what we're going to do. So basically we have that the sum between k plus 1 and r equals 1 of arctan 1 over 2r squared, which remember we have to show is equal to that, equals the sum between r equals 1 and k of arctan 1 over 2r squared, add the k plus 1th term, which is arctan of 1 over 2k plus 1 squared. What I've done there is I have put k plus 1 into this term here, so this here is the k plus 1th term, this is the sum of the first k, and obviously this is the sum of k plus 1, and what we have to do is we have to show that all of this lot here simplifies to that there, and clearly because we have, uh, uh, well actually there's one more step, sorry, before I say what I'm going to say, so the sum between r equals 1 and k of arctan 1 over 2 squared, we have assumed as part of our proof is equal to arctan k over k plus 1. So we can rewrite this as uh, arctan k over k plus 1. That is our assumption plus arctan 1 over 2 k plus 1 squared. Okay, now what we're going to do, we have arctan a plus arctan b. So clearly we have to use the formula which we proved in part a, which I will just write down again, arctan p add arctan q equals, uh, what was it, arctan p add q over 1 minus pq. We proved that in part 1. And it tells us, it doesn't even say hence or otherwise, it says hence. So we have to use it. So basically, arctan p add arctan q, well clearly that is supposed to be p. And that is supposed to be Q. And now we stick that into our formula. And that gives us equals. So therefore this thing here equals by using our formula equals arctan. Okay, we've got to be a little bit careful here. Okay, let's draw a nice big thing here. Okay, P, which is K over K plus 1, plus Q, which is 1 over 2 K plus 1 squared, over 1 minus PQ, 1 minus k over k plus 1 times 1 over 2 k plus 1 squared. And this rather horrific uh, looking thing inside the ar uh, arctan, we have to start simplifying. Now clearly the best way here is to put the denominator of this fraction here and the denominator of this fraction here the same so that they cancel. So that equals arctan of, okay, uh, again we need a bigger uh, Thing here, so that would be 2k k plus 1 squared add k plus 1 over uh, 2k plus 1 cubed. That is basically that top fraction there, just putting it over a common denominator. And then the bottom one will be over 2k plus 1 uh, cubed, cubed minus k over 2 k plus 1 cubed and the reason why we did that is that we can now cancel those two and that leaves us with arctan of uh, 2k k plus 1 squared add k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 cubed minus k. Now in actual fact we could note here that we have k plus 1 here and we have k plus 1 here. So we could take k plus 1 out as a factor. And in actual fact, that's what we should do. Remembering, looking at where we're trying to get. Where are we trying to get? We're trying to get arc tan k plus 1 over k plus 2 in order to prove this uh, formula. So it's clear that we should have noted 
that k plus 1 is a factor here. But let's just imagine for argument's sake that we didn't. And let's, uh, because in the heat of an exam, you might not notice it. And let's just uh, continue to uh, expand everything out. So that becomes 2k, k squared add 2k, add 1, add k plus 1 over, expanding out the bottom using uh, uh, the cubic formula, that would be 2 k cubed add 3k squared add 3k add 1 minus k. Simplifying that gives us arctan of, putting everything together, gives us arctan of, uh, where are we, uh, 2k cubed add 4k squared add 3k add 1 over 2k cubed add 6k squared add 5k add 2. Now here is where it is so vital that you constantly have in your mind where are we trying to get to and let's go back to see where we were trying to get to. We were trying to get to arctan of k plus 1 over k plus 2. So basically we can take a factor out of the top of k plus 1 and take a factor out of the bottom of k plus 2 and assuming that we haven't made any algebraic mistakes, we should find that what's left cancels out. If it doesn't, we've made a mistake and we have to go back. So let's have a look. So basically that equals arctan of, okay, we're taking k plus 1 out of the top and that leaves us uh, with 2k squared add 2k add 1. One. Okay, so far so good. And taking k plus 2 out of the bottom leaves us with 2k squared, add 2k, add 1. Good. Phew. Hey, presto. We can now cancel those two there. And we are left with arctan of k plus 1 over k plus 2 uh, as required by the proof. And therefore, we have proved that if it is true for n equals uh, k, then it is true for n equals k plus 1. Now, the final bit, all we need to do now is part d, which is our conclusion, which we need to do to get the extra mark. We have to write, hence, as true for n equals 1 and as true for n equals k plus 1, given true for n equals k, then the statement is proved by mathematical induction. A voila, we're done. Okay, and there are the four parts of the proof. Now done, excellent. So just to go back, this is a very good example, this particular question here, of how it's so vital to know where you're going in these uh, proofs, especially in part C, because otherwise it's not clear at all from here where you should go. But if you look at where you have to go, as long as you haven't made a mistake, these two must come out as factors. And therefore you don't need to waste your time trying to find factors or anything like that in the heat of an exam. You just look at where you're trying to go and take them out as factors and these must then cancel unless you've made a mistake. Okay, well I hope you found this question useful. Um, if you have, uh, then please like this video and subscribe to the Gracie Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.